Hello and welcome to Lauren's Travels. Today is a very special video because I'm going to be reviewing the Disney Princess book. It is called The Disney Princess, A Celebration of Art and Creativity. And I'm also going to be giving a book away. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more about the giveaway. But let's get into it. I am filming this video today at Mead Botanical Garden, which is kind of like in Winter Park, Florida. It's one of the most beautiful gardens. They have beautiful statues, very pretty flowers. So I couldn't think of a more perfect spot to talk about this princess book with you today. First off, we do have to appreciate these holographic pages. It is a big reason why I was interested in getting this book. I love anything holographic and honestly, like who wouldn't love this? It's beautiful. So this book actually goes through the history of all of the Disney princesses in their order of when they came out. So you have Snow White and it goes all the way down to Moana. Something I really like is the concept art that is in each section for each princess. Some of the concept art I have never seen before, so that's one of my favorite things of looking through this book is seeing all the different photos and even like things that would be found in the time period of the princess, like the ceramic horse from the Tang Dynasty. They even give real life history. So for example, talking about Aurora, it says life was short in the 14th century. A prince or princess could inherit a throne at 14, although women could not rule in much of Western Europe under the doctrine of Salic law. But in some areas, women could and did wield real power. Queen Isabella ruled 15th century Castile in her own right and with greater authority than her husband Ferdinand did in Aragon. So things like that, giving you actual real history and the time that these princesses would have been alive, for me, that's fascinating. They even give details on how the animators drew these characters and all the inspiration that they drew from in order to create these characters' personalities. Like when I was reading, I found out that Jasmine was inspired from Audrey Hepburn's character in Roman Holiday. Why don't you take a little time for yourself? Maybe another hour. Live dangerously. Take the whole day. I could do some of the things I've always wanted to. Like what? Oh, you can't imagine. I'd, I'd like to do just whatever I like the whole day long. <laughs> things like having your hair cut, eating gelato. Yes, and I'd, I'd like to sit at a sidewalk cafe and look in shop windows, walk in the rain, have fun and maybe some excitement. Little tips and tricks like that, it, it kind of like makes my nerd heart happy. <laughs> some things I already knew of, but I still like to see it in picture form, like this actual statue that's out in Copenhagen that is a tribute to the Little Mermaid from the Hans Christian Andersen book. If I had to give a criticism, I would say that a lot of the chapters felt short to me. Maybe that's just because I, I'm a reader and I really like more, the most information I can get. But I really did enjoy the chapters. It wasn't like I was breezing through them. Like I actually took the time to look into things. So I think if you are someone that maybe doesn't want to read a super heavy book, like a lot of Disney history books can be, this would be the perfect book for you. This book was written by Charles Solomon and it came out last year, so it is a fairly new book. Um, I did find a printing error. I know no one cares about those things, but I thought it was kind of interesting. If you get this book, uh, you'll have to let me know if you found the printing error yourself. And the book does come with this pink ribbon that you can use as a bookmark if, in case you didn't have any extra bookmarks lying around. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I am giving this book away. I'm also giving away a Loungefly Princess Wallet and there's two ways to win. At this time, I am unable to send to any international addresses, so this giveaway is for US residents only. In order to win, you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel and following me on Instagram. Leave a comment down below with your Instagram username. If you don't have an Instagram, please leave your email. I need to contact the winner on Instagram, so make sure I can DM you. For an extra entry, comment on this post on Instagram and reply with your favorite princess. Only two entries per person to keep it fair. This video will be going up on February 4th, 2021, and I will be picking a winner on my Instagram, February 14th, Valentine's Day. So you have 10 days to enter. Please share this with your friends who might be interested in winning these items and checking out my channel as well. And I will see you next time on Lauren's Travels. Good luck and bye.